Barcelona have had many great managers, and whilst Tito Villanova's time at the new Camp Hot Seat was brief, he was a huge part of the club's history, and worked wonders for them many years, until he was tragically taken from this earth at the age of just 45. This is the story of Tito Villanova, Barcelona's eternal flame. Tito Villanova was born as Francesc Villanova Bayo in Catalonia on the 17th September 1968. He began his career with Barcelona, but would never break through to the first team, and experienced a modest playing career as a midfielder before retiring in 2001. He returned to Barcelona in 2002 as a youth coach, before beginning his managerial career with Palafruje. After ventures with other clubs in Spain, he returned to Barcelona again in 2007, where he became assistant to Pep Guardiola for the Barcelona B team. Villanova and Guardiola soon announced themselves as an impressive management duo. They got Barca B promoted to the second tier of Spanish football, and following the departure of Frank Rijkaard as manager, Guardiola and Villanova assumed the roles of manager and assistant manager of the Barcelona senior side. The appointment worked like a charm. The first season with the duo in charge saw Barcelona win the treble of La Liga, the Copa del Rey and the Champions League. It was the most successful season in the club's history and there was plenty more to come. Another two La Ligas followed, along with another Copa del Rey and Champions League. The duo had led Barcelona to seven major trophies in four years, but soon it was Villanova's turn to make the step up. Pep Guardiola decided to take a year out of football in 2012, and Villanova was announced as his successor. There was a huge amount of pressure on Tito, as Barcelona wondered if they could continue their success without Guardiola. Villanova had initially been diagnosed with throat cancer in late 2011, but had been able to continue his coaching duties. And so, for the 2012-2013 season, Villanova would serve as Barcelona manager. The season started with the Catalans in scintillating form. They won 18 of their first 20 league games, netting four more goals on nine occasions. In November that season, during a game against Levante, Villanova bought on Martin Montoya for Dani Alves, a decision that meant as every Barcelona player on the field had come through the La Masia Academy. Whilst Barcelona were flying high, Villanova's life was soon turned on its head. In December 2012, it was announced that Villanova's cancer had returned, and he had to undergo treatment. He spent six weeks undergoing radiotherapy and chemotherapy in an attempt to control his cancer. In March 2013, Villanova would return to the bench to see out the season. Barcelona had continued their fine form as they looked to seal the title. Villanova took Barcelona to the semi-finals of the Champions League, but they suffered a humiliating 7-0 defeat to Bayern Munich on aggregate. However, after a loss to Real Madrid, Barcelona went unbeaten in the league for the rest of the season, and sealed the title in style. They won the league with exactly 100 points, and Lionel Messi scored 60 goals in all competitions. In his first season in charge, Villanova had taken the baton from Guardiola, and proved any doubters wrong. When they were presented with the La Liga trophy, Captain Carlos Poyol handed it to Villanova and Eric Abidal, who had also been suffering from cancer, and the two lifted it together in triumph. It was a marvellous moment, but sadly, it was to be the last the world would see of Villanova as a manager. Villanova resigned from his position in the summer of 2013, saying that the cancer treatment he would have to undergo was not compatible with the responsibilities of a top-level manager. The next year, the cancer would finally get the better of him. Tito Villanova died on the 25th of April 2014, at the age of 45. His passing led to an outpouring of grief, with Lionel Messi saying that Villanova was the first manager to believe in him when they worked together at the academy, and only six days before his passing, he persuaded Lionel Messi to remain at Barcelona. The next year, Messi helped guide Barcelona to the Champions League, helping Villanova's flame continue to burn after he was gone.
Villanova's tale is a tragic one, as his managerial career was filled with so much promise, only for his life to be snatched away from him. With just the one season in the hot seat, one is left to wonder what Villanova may have achieved in management, but it does not take away what he did achieve. He formed a key part as an assistant in the most successful period in Barcelona's history, before winning a La Liga of his own, as well as helping Lionel Messi turn into the legend we know him as now. He is without a doubt a Barcelona great, and his name will forever be a key part of their history.